In many parts of New Zealand, earthquakes pose an ongoing and serious threat to our houses and homes. This video will show you various ways to earthquake strengthen your house to make you feel safer and more secure. A strengthened house will reduce the chance of damage to the house and property and therefore reduce repair costs after an event. It could also lower your insurance premiums and generally give you more peace of mind. The forces of an earthquake can affect your house in a number of ways. Lateral forces can cause your house to tilt from side to side or even slide off its foundations. Uplifting forces can lift the walls and even rotate them off the foundation. A strengthened home will be better equipped to withstand these effects. Let's start with the foundations. Check the timber underfloor structure. If any of these structures are damaged or rotten, talk to a building professional about how best to strengthen or replace these sections. If your house sits on piles, these need to be fastened to the bearer above. If these are not secured, your house could slide off its piles in an earthquake. Check if the piles are made of timber or concrete. If they are concrete, wire can be threaded through the pile and fixed to the bearer above. If they are made of timber, a common option is to use Z-nails or use skew nails to fix the bearer to the top surface of the pile. Whether concrete or timber piles, you could also use purlin cleats or brackets to fasten the pile to the bearer. Ensure the bearer is also fastened to the joists above. Here you could use diagonal cleats. For some older houses, additional subfloor bracing may be required. To improve the bracing under the house, two options are to brace between the piles and bearers or joists, or between concrete corner walls and bearers or joists. If the first floor is raised quite a distance above the ground, you could strengthen this basement wall with bracing. Use diagonal boards, plywood or fibre cement board. Ensure you still provide adequate ventilation. Now onto the walls. If you can access where the bottom of the wall meets the foundations, then fix this bottom plate to the foundations with anchor bolts and large square washers. Strengthening around the corners of the house is most important. Or you can install brackets at the base of the stud with a bolt fixed to the foundations. Installing straps at the base of the stud will provide additional support. Finally, strengthen the top plate of the wall using brackets or straps. On the outside, unreinforced brick and masonry walls are a common weak point. If your house was built before 1950, it may not be reinforced. Talk to a building professional about how best to strengthen these walls. Clay or concrete roof tiles can fall off and damage the roof and surrounding area. Tie each tile to the roof batten with wire, clips, nails or screws. Or if you can, replace the roof with a new lighter material such as sheet metal. Brick or concrete chimneys are a real earthquake hazard as they can collapse, damaging the house below and its surroundings. Either replace the chimney with a metal flue or remove it altogether. Talk to us about your plans as sometimes you might need a building consent. A hot water cylinder can move in an earthquake causing damage to itself or to objects around it. Secure the cylinder using a specialized bracing kit that is fixed to the studs in the wall. With header tanks, fasten the base platform to the roof or ceiling frame. Blocks on either side of the base will also help. Then use tie-down straps to fasten the tank to the base. Do try these at home. Or to be sure, get a licensed building practitioner or engineer to assess your home to identify the best course of action for you. So be safe before it shakes. Check out your house today.